what is up what is up y'all welcome back it's your girl gabs coming to you with another video thank you for clicking we got to talk about some things i feel good today i decided to finally go back to the gym it's my third day going back i'm not gonna lie yesterday and the day before that i was not feeling it the weather was crap and everything else under the sun which is ironic because there was no sun yesterday but today i had therapy and the only reason why i went to the gym today was because i was already out at therapy and was like you know what let me just go ahead and get it over with and get it done i my body feels <laughs> like that feeling of being lazy and i don't like where my body starts feeling lazy especially in this chapter of my life now i don't want to come off lazy to anyone i don't want to be lazy even to myself and i'm going to give myself credit for that because i've been doing really well lately but since starting the medication understanding who and what my issues are i can actually work with it instead of working against it i definitely have a better understanding of who i am as an individual and as a person and it gives me a lot more confidence knowing that I've been diagnosed these things and that I'm taking medication to help me. I'm not trying to sit here and say that I wanna be on medication for the rest of my life, but until I'm able to really go through my traumas, which I'm gonna probably be starting cognitive behavioral therapy soon, which is gonna help me get through my trauma, not be so stuck in the past and move on from it. And once we can do that and I still develop more coping mechanisms for my bipolar, PTSD, anxiety, ADHD, OCD, all that stuff, then maybe, maybe I'll drop the medication. But the medication right now seems to be working it doesn't make me sick or nauseous. It doesn't It doesn't do anything but help me gain clarity. My decision making is just so clear. It's, it's very uncanny. As far as working out, I'm not really, uh, I'm an introvert. So I'm not really the type of individual to want to go out and be around people and do things, which is why I'm actually very thankful for the gym that I chose. I go to Anytime Fitness and they are not a big gym, at least the one here where I live. There's maybe about three or four other people that hang around and they are nowhere near me. And a lot of the times I feel like I get a little bit close to them just so I can see how they operate their machinery if it's something that I wanna do. But I don't, I don't go touching everything. I, I literally have a routine in there and then I'm out the door. And if that's helping me, then that's helping me and that's what it's gonna be. But I do feel good about like where I'm headed, where I'm going in this year. That's what's important to me right now is my physical health has really been getting to me. I don't know if I have cancer. I don't know if I have high blood pressure, diabetes, or anything like that, you know? And that's stuff that terrifies me. And if I keep going the route that I had been going, I would definitely see myself having high blood pressure and diabetes. That's what my dad has. And I wanna be more careful and more aware of what I put into my body now especially being on this positive journey of life, I wanna be put on the right path and I have to, and only I can put myself there. And that's what I'm going to do or try to do to the best of my ability. One of the things that I also wanted to share with you before I get off here is my weight. It's not something that I, I'm proud of, but also it's something that I'm working at and so I have no shame. But when I was pregnant with my daughter, which was seven, almost eight years ago, I remember in the last trimester they weighed me, I was 220 pounds. That's not really too bad considering because prior to that, I was like small. Recently, since starting at this therapy place in this clinic where I see the doctor, I, about a month ago, yes, four weeks on the dot, they weighed me and it was not willingly. I don't normally get on a scale unless I'm told to and I'm at a doctor's office doing it. I got on that scale and it said that I was 255 pounds. <sighs> that I was absolutely not proud of. And that was probably the hardest thing to take in and realize. So I think that's when it hit me that I needed to go to the gym. Not necessarily go to the gym, but I need to start being fit. And I was already starting to be fit because me and my best friend, we usually take walks together, we do all this. 
But then it got to a point where like, I'm starting to get tired of just taking walks and taking walks only. I have a very low social battery. So I choose to really hang out with her in the afternoon slash evening time. And my sister hangs out with her in the mornings. And that is completely fine with me. I don't really trip that my siblings want to hang out or talk to her because she's not, she's more than just a friend. She's literally family who lives two houses down and she's dedicated to working her body off and so she's got me dedicated. But I'm dedicated in different ways. I have to work a little bit harder than she does, which is why I kind of need a different kind of motivation because we're not going for the same things when it comes to our exercises, which is why I'm kind of like, I've realized over time that I feel more consistent now because I'm on my own and I'm the lone wolf and I love it. I, I have more confidence when I'm alone and I'm doing my own thing because I don't need to feel like I'm doing too little or I'm doing too much or I'm not doing enough. Whatever the case is, I don't wanna feel that way. I guess that's my way of isolation right now is working out and there's nothing wrong with that. So don't ever let someone tell you otherwise. But I still haven't even got to my goal weight. I'm still talking. During that, I was working out with my friend, doing this, that, that, and the other. And then all of a sudden, the opportunity came up when I started my bank. And my brother was telling me about how they have some active and fit benefits, perks thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to utilize it. So that's what I did. I signed up. They reached out to me via text message. And we set up a time. And I worked out. I started working out that same day. It's been fun since i just get to listen to music i get to chill i get to watch it's ac but my first week being there i weighed myself at the end of the week on friday and i was 231 and that right there said a lot to me because like i'm working it off in three weeks that's how much i've lost from 255 to 231 that's quite a bit but i've put in a lot of serious dedication just like i'm putting in a lot of serious dedication talking to you right now in this hot ass car with my windows down and the sun and the humidity and no wind i'm starting to sweat but i hear sweating is good for you so i'm not complaining there's that wind i was looking for so then i weighed myself again today i know it was only four days later and a lot of and right now i think my weight's at the fluctuation point because the scale was between 230 and 228, which is still good because it's showing less than 231. So I feel like I'm on the right track here. I think I might do some yoga, Pilates or something tonight. We'll see. That is all that I really wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for clicking on this video. I definitely appreciate all of your time and your support in this and I hope it gives some of y'all some motivation or if you want motivation tips or anything like that let me know in the comment section down below and we can definitely put something together like that but I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know that I love y'all and y'all are amazing and I will see you guys in the next video okay y'all stay blessed blessed bleh, bleh. Y'all stay blessed and y'all have a great rest of your week, okay?